something smells like ammonia and it's our fridge yep it just continues to leak so today the DDL is going to be delivering my fridge sorry for the loud noise but this is a daily occurrence for us I usually wait till after 7 to film, but I really need to replace this fridge now. So it's going to be loud. Extra loud. Always. But. I'm going to have to disconnect the water for the ice maker. We've already done the 110. Do the 110 for the ice maker as well. When we pull it out, there's the fuse cover. And there's the igniter and 12 volt. So. We'll get this taken care of super quick. We're going to be replacing it with a more efficient 12 by 24 volt. God damn that sound. It's that time to replace the fridge but well, we're not really replacing it we got the replacement for it on the back we just didn't know it was gonna be this damn bad when we moved here two years ago before it was just like cunt hand crushing and some small stuff but now it's just this fucking madness, 24-7. But we're going to replace this with a 12 by 24 volt efficient compressor and all the goods from the Amish JC Refrigeration Company from Indiana. We'll put a link in the bio and show it once it gets here on the freight. So in the meantime, we're going to take it out and start getting it prepared. Also, my buddy Mike coming from L.A., he's just started doing van dwelling and getting my spare two batteries we had, so save us some weight, 300 pounds away, so now we can carry materials and whatnot, so. Got the plates out, remove those fucking smashed my damn thing and cracked my fridge so now I gotta put some silicone on that hooray something always ends up messing up but it'll be nice that we get it all done and fixed again and have a fridge so all right let's get this thing pulled out it out Whew, was it a mess hopefully this next one's much easier to get in so I hope I have enough room to work on it here damn it so still going on outside
but ugh. All right, let's get to it. Alrighty, I'm just following their step-by-step -step instructions they gave me. It's pretty simple. Take off the burner, take off the electrical, take off the water pump to the uh, ice maker. Remove the line, unscrew, chuck at the nearest asshole that you see, and then let's go and put slap in the new one. All right, let's start taking this apart. tutorial they give you one on how to do yours so this is just a video of me doing mine so it's a mess be prepared guys giant mess but it's gonna be worth it there it is outside that's the whole back off the forklift in the back of the truck fragile it must be from France All right, we're almost ready to pull this bad boy out and have a looky. Oh, what the fuck? Unless this is how they travel. <laughs> that looks awful. But I guess that's smart. At first I thought this damn can exploded. I was like, no, no. At least I had it on video, but. That's just cardboard. Oh, okay, from over here it looks like this. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, they're probably good just so it doesn't have uh, a lot of shifting. Yeah. Great googly moogly. It's a lot smaller though, at least, thank goodness. <laughs> More efficient, hopefully, too. Yeah. Not what you expect when you spend $1,200. Well, this is it. This little thing is going to power our whole fridge. I'm ready to see that. But, here's what the ice maker area looks like. And the inside panel, heat conductor, so. This is just like some cardboard. So, interesting. Definitely will cut some weight out though. After a bit of delay, we're back at it. Putting this back together, I didn't have to take it apart, so I didn't show it. So, just my mess up. I got the fins on the inside, finally in. So, working on the freezer side now. And give it a good wipe out, wipe out before I let it go. But. 
yeah, just gotta put this back in and put it together. <laughs> moment of truth it's been kicking on and off acting like it's working don't mind my handy dandy fuse there had to get there so it work but man was this a pain in the ass to wire up without having a proper sheet so luckily enough that was the same there it goes just kicked on mosquitoes but all right well we're just gonna see if it kicks on and off and stays on and starts cooling down so basically it's just a complete swap out i bought the wrong one here i'm gonna have to return it but there's the original or the new one sorry and there's my original cover so so happy it works put this one down so what i've done here is it goes from 12 volt to this and it powers the 12 volt side and it's blurry and it powers the AC side and I just took off the thermal couplers and all that don't need them and just plugged the Dutch air into the AC side with this handy dandy extension I need to fix some of this and put my fan back on but it's it's working it's on we can actually have fruit again. So exciting. So, we'll let you know if this update works. It's been a, several minutes and the control board is still working. I got the fridge set to about 36 degrees and it's holding temperature good. Now we just need this side to freeze again so don't ruin our food. But success so super easy but update on the fridge it is still working 100% never mind our shiny shiny doors I took the wood off so we could put a metal magnet board magnet board on there and get rid of our hood vent here and replace it with something smaller so we have more room right there but it is currently 35 degrees in there High of 38 with 34. Freezer is absolutely cold. Oh yeah. There's my ice pack right there. You can't even see it. Let's get some light on there. Oh yeah. Frozen ice pack. Dutch Air, you did us good. It was a pain in the ass to get it installed in this fridge in particular, but turned out great. <laughs> 